Hey everyone, this is your girl, the Hoochie Peppy Goddess, and I'm about to get my wig split by the one and only Legend. Hey you guys, I'm taking down her hair as you can see so we can get started on this late 90s to early 2000s look. Oh yeah. As you can see, my model had some blonde hair that had grown out. So we wanted to get that back to a natural color so we could start this healthy hair journey because under any style, you definitely want some healthy hair. Right here, I've already braided some of it off camera, but I want to do the last braid just so you can see what I do to tuck away the extra hair that's left out. And that way I can get the base for this sewing as flat as possible. When doing these type of braids, you definitely want it tight, but not too tight to where your client feels discomfort or they get those little red bumps because that creates hair loss and that's counterproductive for the healthy hair that we're trying to get. When I'm done braiding, I usually like to tuck it and then I'll go ahead and go over the scalp with some oil just to give it some proper moisture and that way my client doesn't have real itchy scalp. When I put the oil, I don't put too much because when you sew it in, you don't want the oil to get all over the wefts. Ooh, and there you have it. She's giving that Lizzie McGuire late 90s type of feel. Just for me. Just for me. Leave out where? Leave out where? This look is so good. If you guys want me to make a video on how to blend your leave out properly, I can definitely make a video on that. Just leave a comment down below. This look was inspired by Nikki from Save the Last Dance. Timeless look. And this last look was just inspired by that whole era. Just the hair clips, the glasses, the top, the low rise jeans. It just all went together perfect. And that was my lookbook from the late 90s, early 2000s. Hope you guys liked this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. You can find me on Instagram at hairbylegend. Peace, love, and healthy hair.